Hey guys, it's Renee. Welcome to this DIY. Today, I wanted to share with you this fall really affordable room decor. There's a few steps for this idea, so I'm just going to move on and tell you how I did it. We're going to be using a few items that are super affordable. You can either use toilet paper rolls or you can use kitchen napkin rolls. I used both of them. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is mark each inch all the way around. Now, as I was working with this project, I found out there are two methods of cutting this. First, cutting them with um, scissors. It's easier, it's faster because you just kind of like push your roll and then you cut it. But at the same time, it kind of loses the shape that it has and it's kind of like oval shapes. So you have to work after you are done cutting to just make the shape again but again it's not going to be as stable the other way that i found is a bit more time consuming and a bit more risky i think but it's using one of this um cutters now my cutter doesn't have like the proper uh, thingy where you're supposed to be putting well the knife as it is like this one i never bought like the proper uh, setting for this or like the proper tool but then again uh, that's what I'm going to be using to get this roll but again if you're going to be just using the razor just be really really careful with this method you're not going to be losing the shape of your roll it's going to be more stable and it's going to look pretty I think so I chose this one to cut all my rolls and as you can see I have quite a few so once I have my tiny army here I'm just going to go ahead and start the fun for the next step, I'm just going to arrange my circles. I'm just going to call them circles from now on. Just so you know, I'm referring to them. I'm just going to arrange them to whatever shape I want to go for. First, I wanted to go for like eye, heart, and then fall underneath it. Then I thought, no, I'm just going to go for like the pumpkin because I wanted to make it different. And most likely, I'm just going to be using the heart for another project later. So I just save the idea for later. And then the pumpkin as it is. Yeah, just take your time. If you want to go online and search for a pumpkin like image just go ahead and do it that's what i did and i based myself from an image to just have the the right figure or the right shape so once i had all my like figures and letters and word in order i just went ahead and glued them using my hot glue gun you can use like regular glue for this like the white stuff you buy at craft stores but it's going to be taking a while and plus i sometimes can't stand the smell so i just figured i would use a hot glue gun for this and it worked really well so yeah, my only suggestion for this is first arrange everything as you wanted to to have like the final result as and then from there you pick each like circle and then you just glue it to where you want it to be. It's going to be easier and less time consuming. I'm telling this because I went to a few like trial and error things where I didn't know how to well gather my pieces or just glue them together and I figured this is the easiest way like first arrange everything as you want it to dry and then just go ahead and glue the whole thing is going to be much easier for painting i'm using acrylic paint regular stuff like you buy from the craft store i'm going to be painting my first letter and the fall word in black and this is how i painted the whole thing first focusing on like the part on the on the middle and then the edges and then going all the way around the whole thing to just you know make sure everything is covered and yeah just take your time uh, painting the whole thing and i did two coats of uh, the black paint for my pumpkin dough i just did one coat of the white of white acrylic paint because um, I just want my colors to really pop. So if you put any color on top of white, your color is going to pop a lot more than rather if you like added, you know, the color as it is. And I painted the whole thing as I did with the black, uh, going in the middle, the edges, everything. Then I'm just going to go with the orange, doing the same thing as I did before. And then I just painted a green, two of my um, the top circles. When you're working though with two different colors next to each other, make sure you choose a smaller brush because if you use a bigger brush, most likely the color that you're working with is going to kind of paint the one that is next to it. So I just as a prevention, I use a smaller brush for this. And then once everything is dry 
And again, make sure it's completely dry because one, you're going to end up with um, paint when all over the place and two, it's going to be taking a lot longer for the next step. Arrange the whole thing as you want it to finally like set. Then I got to say that this was a bit of a challenge for me to just figure out how I was going to um, hang them in there so nothing would be like confusing random uh, black circles like next to each other but then I thought of adding some cardboard but in different shape cut it a few stripes of cardboard and uh, painted those in white with the same like pretty much the same colors that I used before once that was dry I then went back to my hot glue gun and this is how I um, well glued the whole thing together pretty much. There are probably a lot of uh, other like suggestions or just ways or solutions for this to hang them and just use one nail. I didn't want to have like a lot of um, holes in my wall, I just wanted to have one for this. Yeah, so that's pretty much uh, what I was thinking when I was doing this and that I wanted to just hang them in like one or two uh, nails in my wall glue them with my hot glue gun and this is a close-up so you can see how I um, glued my two cardboard pieces together with my hot glue gun you can use uh, white glue like the regular stuff I didn't use it because again I just wanted to have this project done and with that kind of glue you have to wait for the whole thing to dry so in here I'm just uh, telling you where I added more of those white stripes so the message would be clear instead of just having again random circles um, next to each other and yeah we made it till the end i hope you like this idea again uh, this is just an affordable and easy way to just decorate i wouldn't hang it like in the main room or the living room this is more of a room small room casual place you know decoration it looks pretty cool still even though it's just made of a bunch of uh, cardboard pieces so if you liked it don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share it and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming ideas that i had out of this one Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys!